Russia's point of view has been stripped from social media. Google, Apple, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook have decided that Moscow is not welcome. Roskomnadzor records more frequent cases of unjustified blocking of official accounts of Russian media and public figures by foreign internet platforms. Blocking the official page of a Russian media outlet violates the key principles of free dissemination of information and unhindered access to it for Russian users. Russian apps cannot be sold. Russian content cannot be monetized. Big tech stands united in boycotting one of the biggest countries in the world. This is a much bigger canceling than Donald Trump got after January 6th. The closest comparison would be what was done to Gab.com, a social media platform known for welcoming normally impermissible views. American right-wing dissidents are no strangers to any of these things. All of these tools of war have been used against us as American citizens for six years now. In Gab's case we have been banned from both app stores, domain registrars, and big tech platforms for years. Now these same tools and tactics of war that have been developed and used against us as dissidents are being used against all of Russia. Gab gained a reputation for being an online hangout for racists and white nationalist elements. Some shootings and hate crimes set the stage for Gab.com to be shut down in 2017. Here's what the App Store said about it. Your app includes content that could be considered defamatory or mean-spirited. We found references to religion, race, gender, sexual orientation, or other targeted groups that could be offensive to many users. Gab.com was not a country like Russia, and they didn't really have very much leverage. After they were shut down in 2017, they were forced to simply wallow in defeat. Now they celebrate Russia's moves striking back at big tech. Unlike our spineless Republican leaders in America who had total and complete control over the government from 2016 to 2018 and did absolutely nothing to stop big tech tyranny, Russia is fighting back. Russia has shut down Facebook and Twitter completely, and this is honestly a smart play. Why give the globalist regime insight into what your citizens are talking about? Data isn't just the new oil. Data in a time of war is priceless, especially the data of your own people. NATO and their allies claim that they are defending democracy in Ukraine. But how much democracy is there when certain perspectives and the views of entire countries get shut down simply because they go against the prevailing narrative? It appears that a lot of power is concentrated in the hands of some entrenched oligarchs, not in Moscow, but in Silicon Valley. Caleb Moffin, RT, New York. Well, that's a wrap for this hour. My name is Paula Slear. I'll be back again.